Hello, this is Marco again, and uh, we have crashed in a frozen tundra. Not exactly sure where we are, but uh, we are not in Washington. I know that's for sure. And all I have on me are my clothes. <laughs> my original clothes. Uh, so, um, we have nothing. None of our weapons made it. Our plane didn't even make it. I've been crawling around for days trying to find any kind of civilization. I finally found some. All I have is my camera. And, uh... That's about it. My camera and my clothes. That's a lot of zombies. Uh... I think something might have broken. Because there's not supposed to be that many zombies. But... One thing we can't lose is skills. Um, I have all of my skills that I ended with. Um, did manage to gain a few skills while flying. <laughs> uh, crazy as it sounds. But first, let's sneak in here to see if we can find any weapons. zombies. It's a lot of zombies. Okay. Got a shirt. This shirt should be better than the one we're wearing. Yes, now we have more pockets. Get out of here then. Let's check this boat over here by the docks. Kill this lone zombie. Just the good old punching for now. Oh! There's a paddle. Okay. Now we're in business. Uh, Schofield clip. Uh, let's, let's grab it for now. If we find a Schofield, it's better than nothing, I guess. pants off and put them on us and that's not what I meant to do <laughs> ooh that is really good that is really useful because we can freeze and freezing is not good contrary to popular belief freezing is not good for your health oh, oh my gosh No, back you fools. Okay. Uh, uh, we need to make very valuable decisions. Oh, that took us like five or five um, days in uh, the last place that we were at, in Prince Edward Island, which I have confirmed reports of complete annihilation. So anything that was there is no more. Um, unlike that island, we must find shelter, and we must find a fire, and everything else possible to keep us warm. Because once it starts snowing, it will never end, and once it starts snowing, we are screwed. Because then we can start freezing to death. Equip. Put those pants on salvage that. We need lots of bandages, just in case we go a long time without fire. Schofield, oh, whatever. Um, first thing we're going to do is head over to that town over there. Not sure what it's called. Um, not sure what anything that's going on right here is, because uh, <laughs> there's lots of zombies, and uh, we're somewhere stranded in the snow wild Yukon of Canada. Okay. Ooh, that is great. Oh, it's starting to snow. Okay. Alright. 
we are fortified now. And uh, ooh, that was a choice. Let's pick up the shotgun shells. Blue parka. Is that a backpack I saw over there? No, it is not. Okay. This is going to draw a lot of attention. Uh, oh, there's so many zombies. Oh, we only got hit once. He only scratched us. Good. We didn't get bit at all. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, I think the parka has even more spots. I'm going to equip it. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to re-equip this. Because I like it better. Salvage that. And we can craft a rag. Ah, uh, we didn't need to do that. Oh, well. Okay. Okay. We're looking good right now. We're looking good. Okay. That will help us traverse between the, uh, well, that, that's really good. It'll help us traverse between the buildings. Oh, that was close. That was a little too close. Okay, we got a toque in here. Oh, sport shot. No. Schofield, yes. So what we're going to do so that we can get right back to our stuff immediately if we end up dying, I mean, uh, if we are able to patch ourselves up after being almost defeated, um, we're going to place that there and claim it. That way we'll respawn right there. And also we need to go ahead and craft all of these into rags and a few into bandages not all of them into bandages um, just some of them so that way uh, if we don't need to heal all the way with the bandage then we can just not heal all the way <laughs> if you see what I'm saying probably not because we don't want to waste lots of bandages on um, something if we don't need to use the bandages. Uh, so, we do have lots of ammunition for the Schofield now. And the Schofield is 100% condition. Um, we really need a backpack. And we really need um, a gas can. Go check this boat. Oh, headlamp. That's great. <gasps> oh, oh, hi, hi. Nope. Not going there. <laughs> oh, another Schofield. I don't know. That isn't a Schofield. Shotgun shells. Hawkhound. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. Oh no, that's not good. Um, that's new. Have the zombies not deteriorated but become smarter? Maybe they're not the stereotypical zombies you see in like movies and stuff. Maybe these zombies are smart and becoming better. Because uh, that zombie had stuff dripping out of its mouth. They're not deteriorating, they're getting more intelligent. <laughs> Launching acidic spray at us. I I can only assume, um, which means it's getting harder, and it'll just keep getting harder. All right, stay by the fire for just a quick second. All right, and then uh, I want to draw attention, but I don't want to shoot anything. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, we already have a chart. Wait, no, we don't. <laughs> Thought we did. All right, he's dead. So now we can see where we are and what's going on. So it looks like we're just outside of Beef, uh, Eufer Bay. Um, looks like there's a city to the southeast we should try to go to. We need to find our way to Washington. Um, looks like it's the city of Whitehorse. Um, but yes, we do need to find our way to Washington to respond to Corporal Daniels and his message. Um, so, I think, seeing as the uh, airstrip didn't work out very well last time, um, I think we should go to the off-limits and see what we can find there uh, to try to um, try to find our way and then we should try and hit the highway and see where that'll take us. Uh, worst case scenario, we find different civilization anyways, so <laughs> there's really no loss here. He is dead. Ooh, federal. Don't need that. Okay. Why are we losing temperature? <laughs> Ow! Ooh, hit me. Just a little bit. Stop. Go away. Okay. Let's hurry back. And then sneak up behind him. Is that a backpack I see? Yes, it is. It is a duffel bag. That is perfect. That is exactly what we need. Um, we also do need a little bit of food. So we'll take the cruddy cheese. Don't need the kitchen knife. Um, survival in the Yukon is very, very rough. If you don't know what you're doing, you will die. So, you need to know what you're doing. Um, ooh. We have not looted this room yet, it looks like. At least I don't think, anyways. No. Back, you fool. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we already have a headlamp. We don't need that one. Perfect. Uh, we can pick up that campfire and take it with us. Schofield clip. Alright. I think we found everything that we can here. So we're going to pick up that and run as quickly as possible to the snowmobile. And place it on the back. Doesn't look like it should be possible, but it is 100% possible. I am doing it right now. And it'll keep us warm all the way to the city. And then in the city, once you have shelter, you're going to be fine. But we need shelter. So, we are going to make our way over to this town uh, by following the frozen lake to the very edge of it. you here. Uh, glue? Nah. No thanks. But we can try to find our way. Oh. Gosh dang. That was close. Oh man. Almost didn't have my knife out in time. <laughs> Alright, we don't need rope. I'm not going to grow anything here in the Yukon, at least not yet. We'll take the nails. Uh, yeah, we'll take some nails. Because if we, if we can find a new weapon, like a baseball bat or something, then we can use that uh, and put nails on the end of it to make it sharp. Okay, let's hurry 
back over here. Hopefully we can find a gas station um, so that we can uh, carry gas with us so that we can refill that vehicle and not have to keep moving from vehicle to vehicle like we did last time. Um, eventually we did just craft one, but I want to find one because the ones that you can find will carry more uh, gas. Is this shelter? I don't know. I know for a fact that this is shelter. <laughs> and I know we can survive for a while in the cold because we have become cold blooded due to the high altitude of the airplane. Ah, yes. It is. Okay, that's good. More nails. Alright, how many nails do we have? Just gonna look at my inventory, and yes, we have four. That's exactly what we need. So now we just need to find a baseball bat, and we will be just fine. So let's get back over here, hop back on our vehicle, and see if we can what we need in here. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> we almost did not make that step. Ooh, an ace. That is great. Now we've got two guns um, and plenty of ammunition for one. I'm not sure about the ace. We'll have to check. <gasps> oh. oh, a travel pack. That is so much better than that. That is amazing. We did drop some of our stuff when we switched bags, but that's fine. We don't need that bag anymore. Oh, that's so good. We're already in a better state than we were at the end of our time in uh, PEI. Prince Edward Island. So, that is good. Let's go into the grocer. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've already been there. Make sure you stab them from a distance so that they don't get the chance to kill you. We'll take that cruddy water bottle. Uh, those are some pretty good chips. That's perfect cheese. Uh, we need to get all the food and water that we can uh, while we're over here. So that we can find a spot to settle down in and not have to make a run every time we need food. Uh, we don't really need more cloth right now. We've got enough bandages to last us a good while. And as long as we stay nice and uh, <coughs> taken care of food-wise, uh, we should heal on our own. Alright, kill him. Oh, that's bad. Okay, let's get back in here. And let's run over here. And then back in here. Okay. This will warm us up a little bit. And then that will allow us to uh, oh avoid hypothermia. Huh. Uh, oh. Oh, I've been bit. Oh no. Okay, use a rag. Don't want to craft a bandage or use bandage quite yet. Ah, uh, looks like we're gonna have to. Didn't realize that didn't do as much as I thought. Okay, we're fine for now. Now, we do want to get rid of this guy over here. Uh, it's gonna be loud. But it's so worth it, because I don't wanna, ah, uh, fine, whatever. Sneak up behind him. Oh, no! Oh! That was almost bad. We do need to get some more uh, cloth. And 
craft a rag and another rag. And we'll go ahead and craft a bandage and use said bandage. Because we do not want to lose lots of health. If we lose lots of health, then we will not be able to survive because our survival rate will go significantly down if uh, we're already half dead and then start freezing. Die. Go away. Okay. We've made it into the police station and we have found absolutely nothing. Please tell me that's not another spitter. Um, really, we don't need this paddle anymore. All we need for our secondary is this knife. Alright. Okay. That worked. Amazingly. And if we can get back on this. Oh! Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, we didn't even get bit once. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Okay. Let's hurry in here, see what we can find. Um, is this good on gas? Oh, no, it's terrible on gas. Okay. We've got some good pairs of pants and stuff. Um, is this any better than the ones that we have currently? Let's see. No, it's worse. Okay. Alright. Well, that sucks, but whatever. We can scrap these for metal, though, surprisingly. They use the metal uh, to protect against the fire. Um, so we'll We'll take all of these, salvage all of them. We do need to find a uh, um, I don't know what to, I'm trying to say. Uh, something to fuse the metal to our weapons to fix them. Um, a blowtorch. We need a blowtorch soon. Alright, that's good. That is really good. Um, 22 gas. That's a 13. Um, where do we want to go from here? Uh, we're probably going to be in the Yukon for a little while uh, so that we can build up enough arms and ammunition to make it to the off limits place and wipe it out and see what we can find there. Unless we find life. Because Off Limits sounds like it's a secret organization. If it's a secret organization, maybe they survived. Um, so, let's, let's finish searching this town. Uh, and maybe head for... Maybe head... Um, we'll head down this road and... It looks like there's a building over here, so we're going to head over there next. But, for now, I don't know how much memory I have left on this camera, so I'm going to stop this recording and start a new one immediately afterwards. So, if you do get any of these messages, this is the end of the first one, <laughs> of the Yukon. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.